Yeah, this early heat has been been tough on some of the winter plants, but it's been great for my ground cherries. Uh, if you don't know what a ground cherry is, it's a uh, it's a little fruit, kind of like uh, this. It's related to the tomato, husk tomatoes and husk cherry husk cherries. They're like a papery shell around them, and it's a fruit. And they've been around. They're indigenous to the United States, so they've been around since the pilgrims came. <laughs> Let me show you what happened. I was looking around, pooping around on, on one of my my gardens that I was just letting rest this year. And let me show you what I found grown wild. <laughs> So yeah, last year, as I was saying last year, I grew some tomatillos, and they're in the same family. I grew them kind of in the same spot, and I was looking, I was like, gosh, look at the size of these, uh, let me show you, these ground cherries, hold on. See, these are the things, I started seeing them popping out, I'm like, holy cow, I got the giant, giant, biggest ground cherries ever, and uh, see, this is, this actually is plant, this is a tomatillo plant, <laughs> This is kind of grown wild. It's the same family. They're, like I said, they're indigenous to the United States. These husk, husk tomatoes, the husk, they got the husk on the outside. And uh, see, here's a cherry tomato. And that's a ground cherry, same size almost. Um, th these are, I suppose, more tart and fruity. And the tomatoes taste like a tomato. You know what that tastes like, so. Anyway, sugar, come here. This is my dog, Sugar. Say hello, Sugar. <laughs> She's a little hot. Okay. Anyway. That's what I got going on today in the garden. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye now.